Hello guys, uh, today I would like to talk with you how you can connect uh, to your Neptune 4 Plus printer. This one will be a short tutorial about uh, every clipper printers. As you know, the clipper printers uh, have their own operating system and you can connect to them. There are mostly two ways how you can connect uh, to a printer. Uh, in this series I would uh, create uh, two parts of this video. The first part will be considering the, uh, the network connection and the second part uh, uh, will uh, cover the uh, cable connection uh, using the serial uh, port uh, of a printer. So let's start uh, with the uh, network connection, how you can make it. So basically you need to, uh, uh, to get the IP address of your printer. To uh, uh, obtain it you just need to log in to your router and see what the IP address was assigned to your printer. In case of uh, Neptune 4 Plus or Neptune uh, series uh, other printers you will have a Wi-Fi connection or a cable connection. So if you choose one of them, you can see on your router uh, what IP address was assigned uh, to the device. The second part, uh, uh, what is also important, is uh, the username and the password. For Neptune printers, the username is MKS and the password is MakerBase. I will put the uh, uh, credentials in the video descriptions. And the last part is the software you can use uh, to make the connection. It uh, depends on the operating system uh, you are using. Uh, the easiest way uh, on Windows to access uh, the printer is to use uh, PuTTY. Uh, the PuTTY app uh, allows you different uh, ways to access the printer like Telnet, SSH, uh, serial uh, connection and so on. We will cover uh, only the SSH uh, way that you can access the printer. Just go to the PuTTY Gain Come uh, page and, down, and then uh, grab uh, the proper version for your Windows uh, system. Install it and after installing it, I already did it on my uh, PC, you will have uh, this uh, window after starting the app of course. And then you can define the IP address uh, of the printer, in my case it's this one. and then you need to make uh, the connection. You can also save uh, the IP address as a profile, just uh, uh, press here save. Uh, so, uh, you need to also uh, enter the session name like uh, test, uh, test Neptune 4 Plus. In my case, I will save it, so you, you don't need to enter the IP address anymore. And then you can just load it, and in this case it will be loaded. Uh, to this uh, uh, to this field and you will have the IP address. So let's make uh, the connection. Neptune uh, 4 is running so I will just go to open and then you will see you will be asked uh, uh, to enter the credentials like username and password. So the username is MKS and the password is maker oh sorry maker base and you can see access denied I made a typo uh, in the password maker base once more time and we are locked in uh, what do we uh, see right now uh, you see that your last login your username and the name of the a printer. A Neptune a printer uses the MKS P image, so this is the name of uh, the printer. On the printer, 
you can do different uh, things like creating a folder, uh, changing the firmware, installing a new version of the firmware and so on. Uh, what is also useful, you can uh, install different plugins and the most important part is that you can uh, restore the broken uh, clipper. If you break something, you can uh, change uh, the operating system and recover to a, a new version and so on. So uh, you can just start the midnight commander is a, is a, a file explorer. So you can see you have access to every part of the of the uh, file system on the printer. I will make it a little bit bigger. And there is a fluid folder, clipper folder, streamer folder, and so on. All the different uh, uh, files are there. G-code files I uh, uploaded to the printer. Everything is there. So it's very useful that you have this access. We can uh, uh, leave the explorer. And also you can use um, uh, Linux commands like uh, Ma creating a folder, uh, creating a file, uh, um, and uh, other different uh, commands. So it's very useful. You, you can see like there's a date command. So you can see the actual date of the system. Um, this uh, printer uses the P image from MakerBase uh, with some um, um, changes uh, which was were uh, created from uh, a Lego team. And uh, that's all. That's the easiest way that you can access uh, the printer. It's important that you have the IP address, the user uh, name and the password to access the printer. In case of different operating systems uh, like Unix and Mac OS, uh, you don't need to install uh, any additional software. Uh, just uh, use a terminal. Uh, and your SSH client. I'm on a Windows uh, PC, so I will use some emulator, some Sigvin uh, terminal to show you all the necessary steps you need to do. And this terminal uh, is like your terminal on Linux or Mac OS. So to do it, just type SSH, it's your SSH client, um, the username, uh, on the printer and the IP address of the printer. Then you will be asked uh, to uh, continue because there is uh, some fingerprint, some information about the host and you need to say yes that you would like to make this connection. Uh, the IP address and uh, the sp and special information about this host you want to connect are stored locally and you won't be asked anymore. Just uh, you will be asked about the password. You won't need to enter uh, any extra information next time. So the password is MakerBase. And you can see we are locked in. So. Uh, Linux and Mac OS is straightforward. You just need to use the SSH client and you have the connection. In case of uh, Windows, you need to grab Putty. Putty is the client because Windows doesn't have SSH client built in and you need to use uh, some special uh, uh, software uh, to make the connection. Uh, I hope I could uh, help uh, someone. If you like the video, please uh, don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned uh, to see the part two about the making a connection using a serial uh, port of uh, the printer. Have a nice uh, day guys. Bye.